Hey folks, Reloading Bench back with you again. I thought I'd make a video on some of my trials and errors for filling this 74 cubic inch tank up that arrived last week. Kind of like a follow-up video to uh, to where things stood. And uh, anytime I looked at uh, compressors like the Young Hang or the Tuxing or, or whatever, the, the $400 compressors that will do up to 4,500 PSI, I could never, and you could watch some videos to see um, how they filled uh, air tanks up, but they always showed little tiny, you know, 50 cubic inch, 13 cubic inch, you know, nothing bigger than a 96 cubic inch. And they always talked about uh, leveling it off, topping it off from like 2,000 to 3,000 PSI or 3,000 to 4,000 PSI. So it was never a empty tank, uh, complete fill that, that, I, that I saw. Um, and I'm sure there's probably a couple videos out there, but uh, I didn't uh, I didn't come across them. I also didn't look super super hard, but uh, You know, I've got friends. Well, how long does it take to fill a tank? Well, this is the biggest tank I've ever owned. So this past weekend I, uh, I hooked it up to the compressor and uh, Filled it up. So it averages for this 74 cubic inch 4500 psi tank it averages 50 bar per 15-ish minutes, and I had uh, had to change the water twice. Um, you could feel it warming up. I kept the uh, compressor under uh, 60 degrees Celsius, and again, ran it for uh, four separate, uh, I didn't fill it to 4,500 PSI or even 4,000 PSI. I did go up to, I think it was uh, 300 bar, so that's about 3,300 PSI. And I was satisfied with that. I'm like, hey, it works. But what I found, and this is kind of what the video, this video is about, was in previous fills, um, this is essentially the air filter water oil separator that came with the unit, and uh, obviously the other side with, with the uh, cable is still attached to my compressor, so I didn't want to yank that apart. And I knew that, you know, my thought was, that's just probably not enough. Uh, so I went ahead and bought this before the pump ever came, compressor rather. And uh, again, I'd, I'd seen a couple videos where people are doing something a little more extensive with additional uh, water and, and oil separators. But uh, again, I had never done anything to this degree in terms of volume, so everything was kind of what I'll call small potatoes. And uh, the filters never really got you know super, super bad. But uh, what I thought I'd do... Um, after I filled this tank this past weekend, uh, about 3,300 PSI, I then took a look at the filters, felt them and saw them. And as you can see, obviously this, this filter was in here and it was face down that way. So obviously, it, uh, and this was, uh, or rather uh, it was faced this way. So the cleaner side coming out to the second filter and you know, obviously, you could see after you know four 20-minute sessions, there was some there was some oil deposit there. Um, it was uh, spongy, not soaking wet, but you could feel dampness to the touch. And for the first time in using this particular compressor with a larger tank, for the first time, this second stage um, water and oil separator was also contaminated obviously that the darker the contamination is uh, where it was being fed and then that was going to my tank and what concerned me after I filled the tank to 3300 psi was um, I'm getting oil and water in my tank so I can't imagine how anyone else isn't getting oil and water in their tank especially folks who are just using this native separator that comes with the compressor versus getting you know a secondary stage so that drove me to uh, to do something different and what what I also found out was when I did purchase the uh, compressor initially the filters that came with it for this first stage filter um, was actually this filter so it fits in. You can you can see the 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 fit. I mean, you there. It's in. But notice that it it doesn't 
fit snug. And when I say snug, it's it's in the actual uh, up up close to this end. And then when you put the other cap in, it does snug it up. But I thought, wow, that's that's interesting. So before again the pump ever or the compressor ever arrived, I had ordered additional, thinking these were the right size. You know, hard to tell on eBay, and they're they're not because when you look at them, there's a big difference. But I've been opting for these rather than these. Much more dense. I mean, when you squeeze them, different kind of wrapping on the outside. There's a plastic wrap. Here's less of a plasticky wrap, thinner wrap. But uh, definitely much more dense in here than in here. So I opted to use for this particular filter the thicker spongy or more dense cotton. This filter comes with a very, as you can see from the package that I just showed you, a very small filter that fits you know, snug. And like the other one, you know, it does you know, there's obviously volume around the cap, but uh, once the cap is secure, not bad. So that takes care of my stage one, stage two. And after examining these and feeling how damp they were, and you know, when you can see the difference in coloration between what new, new looks like, there, there's definitely oil there. And oil in the tank is not a good thing, which again, I've seen so many people using just this on videos for obviously smaller tanks, so maybe it's a time thing because I spent uh, four 15 minute periods, so about 60 minutes worth of time, and that's what this reflects versus maybe just five or 10 minutes, and you wouldn't see the discoloration or the dampness on this. So, you know, spending all this money on a tank and a uh, compressor didn't make much sense if you're going to shoot oil and uh, moisture into the tank. So what I did was, and I'd seen some videos uh, previously, I picked up and uh, I thought it was kind of funny because this also happens to be uh, a Tuxing brand with the, uh, the bomb dropping and the crossed rifles. But uh, it's pretty heavy duty. I mean, this is, uh, I've seen, I think, uh, one guy from New York, I can't remember his name, doing the video. Uh, essentially, these are just giant, very dense versions of this. And when I say dense, I mean really, really, really dense. So I thought to myself, self, let's give that a try. Um, you know, it's pretty heavy duty uh, aluminum, relatively thick, um, worth the, uh, I think it was 80 bucks. I would say definitely worth the 80 bucks in terms of what it is. So the concept behind what I'm going to do, and I will test this this weekend just to see how the filters filter, <coughs> is to hook my tank, my air tank, up to that. And I'm not gonna be able to do that left-handed and I kinda knew I'd jam the camera. Um, so. Ultimately, these will connect when I can do it with my right hand. And this end will go to the pump and it will come off the second stage and this will come off the first stage. So I'll have a first stage, a second stage, and this for a third stage to try and get uh, as oil-free and moisture-free air into the tank as possible. And with all these tubes on the bench, something is bound to fall off. So I'm going to count my graces and be lucky that nothing has fallen to date. That's the plan. I will uh, follow that up or uh, the plan up with a video to see how well this particular uh, separator does. But I mean, I can't imagine it won't do a bad job when you think about stage one, stage two, 
and then this giant multiple um, cotton insert. In fact, I think uh, my bag full of came with an extra. So there's actually two in there. There is the long up front, closest to the, uh, or rather, uh, depending on how I do this, it would actually look like that. Uh, the shortest is to the tank. Longest is coming from the, uh, the compressor. So that's kind of where we're at, and we'll find out this weekend how that does. And again, this is uh, pretty dense material. Dense cotton. I think uh, everybody online is referring to them as tampons, so we'll see where that goes. But that's, uh, that's the plan. I'll let you know how it uh, turns out.